lecture finished, straight to the bus stop, and huddled in the cold, we can't help but wonder which will come first, Christmas or the U6. Of course, in its place, teasing and belittling is the U5, just sitting there warming passengers almost proudly, irritatingly, with its comfy seats and on-time arrival. But its drivers are grumpy and it smells, so we say, no, thank you, and we'd rather not have to walk the extra mile or so anyway. The U5 prepares to leave, the U6 somewhere en route, but just before the doors close, a blaring noise. A blaring voice. Danger. Danger, this bus is under attack. Help, help, dial 999. <laughs> this actually happened, by the way. Not sure why. And well, we didn't get an explanation. It just cuts out. Not another word. The doors close and off it goes. After another U5, and then for some reason two more U5s just following each other round, <laughs> the U6 finally turns up but not in its usual guise, you know, a simple blue double-decker. That's not what arrived. Instead, we see a small, pink, bus-shaped thing with the usual guy. We'll call him Brian. It's always him for some reason. Perhaps he's the only one who'll do it, or he lost a bet or something. It's safe to say he's had a bit of a day. As of right now, we haven't seen him in a while, so he might have had a breakdown or something. Not unlike the U6. <laughs> I mean, one morning it pulls into my local stop, but he's not his cheery self. In fact, he gets out of his seat and explains it's the second bus that day to break down on him. This was at 11 a.m. after running for three hours. I mean, two buses in three hours, poor guy. Another time, there's more. I walk out late from my accommodation, 10 past 10. I should have missed it but there are loads of people waiting at the stop. What's going on, I think? Soon enough, the inevitable pink U6 arrives. A disgruntled, a disgruntled student gets on before me, not seeing the funny side. Where was the 9.33, she asks, having waited for 40 minutes, and Brian. He just turns to her without a single shred of irony and says, this is the 9.33. <laughs> it's been running for two hours, and it's 40 minutes late. That is classic U6. I mean, I'm just not surprised by any of it anymore. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if one day it's just the same usual guy driving up in a golf buggy for us all to hop onto. Beth likes that one. <laughs> or better still, him just walking along holding a sign with U6 written on in crayon. <laughs> just walking the route because all the buses broke down already. <laughs> Have I mentioned the U6 is my favorite bus? It's brilliant, it really is. I can't recommend it enough, thank you.